Hello everyone around the world, welcome back to my channel, Adrenal Bacasso Lovers Ministry. If you have not subscribed yet, please do so, so that you'll be notified of my new videos. Guys, don't forget to read your Bible every day, and apply His words every day. Because Jesus Christ is coming very, very soon. And then, I have also a lot of God word, God's words, I call this one God's words, or a word that... Uh, that I heard from the Lord, just like your pastor, you know, your preachers who uh, give you the message that they receive from the Lord. So this is the same thing to what I have been doing. So I have a lot of guys, guys that I've been posting only on my Facebook page. That is www.facebook.com slash B. So guys, I also have two books that have published on Amazon. So the first edition, Warning to this Beer first edition, has already reached out around 300,000 people around the world. And then you'll be able to find out the difference between the first edition and the second edition only in this channel. So you can check out my two books only on my author's page. That is www.amazon.com slash author slash Adrenal leverance. So guys, I have a word for you guys that the Holy Spirit spoke to me. This is God's word letter E. Letter e. Again, God's word letter E. The Holy Spirit spoke to me last June 2nd, 2023. Okay, the title of this message is The Drying Up of the Eupratus River. So he took me to the book of Revelation chapter 6 verse 12. NLT or New Living Translation, it says, Then the sixth angel poured out his ball on the great Euphrates River, and it dried up so that the kings from the east could march their armies toward the west without hindrance. So he took me to the book, uh, to online, online blog. The reference is www.encountertoday.com. So, it, the question is, is the drying up of the Eupertus River the fulfillment of Bible prophecy? What is happening to the Eupertus River? Okay, the, the blogger says, The Bible predicts that in the last days, the Eupertus River will dry up to prepare the way for the kings of the east to pass through the river itself is a massive land barrier that would hinder any army from advancing east to west at more than 1800 miles long and an average of 300 yards wide and the Euphrates river has been a substantial source of life in the region the sixth angel poured out his ball on the great river Euphrates, and its water was dried up to prepare the way for the kings from the east that is in the book of Revelation chapter 16 verse 12. The Bible doesn't say who the kings of the east are. The, bib the biblical scholars and the theologians have different ideas about who they are. One popular interpretation is that the kings of the East are a reference to the rise of China and other Asian nations as powerful political and economic entities. John predicts in Revelation chapter 9 verses 16 to 18 that these kings of the East will boast a standing army of 200 million. This is a bold prophecy. Especially when you consider that at the time he was writing, there weren't 200 million people on the planet. However, as you read this today, China has an army of more than 200 million, just as the Bible predicted. It's also worth nothing that. Again, sorry. It is also worth noting that, that's what I mean. Whatever the kings of the East are, they are seen as a 
formidable force in the end times and are going to be part of the final battles that will take place before the return of Jesus. In the way, this massive army will need to cross the Euphrates on their way to the valley of Armageddon. Recent news articles have reported that the Euphrates River is indeed drying up. According to a study by the University of Arizona, the river's flow has decreased by more than 60% over the past century due to dams and irrigation projects in Turkey, Syria, and Iraq. There has also been an unknown factor that has caused it to increase that no one can explain. This decrease in flow has had a significant impact on the region, causing water shortages and affecting the livelihoods of those who depend on the river for agriculture and fishing. The drying up of the Euphrates River is a clear fulfillment of Bible prophecy and a sign that we must be ready for Jesus' return. As stated in Matthew chapter 24, verse 44, it says, Therefore you also be ready, for the Son of Man is coming at an hour you do not expect. So he, gave, he also took me to another reference in the Google. So it says here that the Euphrates River is at risk of drying up due to climate change. Temperatures in northern northeastern Syria have risen by one degree Celsius compared to 100 years ago. And average rainfall has decreased by 18 milli millimeters per month per century. The Iraqi Ministry of Water Resources warns that the river could be dry by 2040 or 2040. So why is River Euphrates drying up? Answer. The top reason the Euphrates River is drying up is low rainfall. Along with droughts, Iraq and the surrounding area also suffer from climate change and rising temperatures. More than seven, 7 million people are affected by the river drying up. Another question, is there still water in the Euphrates River? Answer, the Euphrates River is a major international waterway that, that divides Turkey, Syria, and Iraq. For over 10 for over 10,000 again for over 10,000 years this river has provided the majority of the region's water but it has recently begun to dry up due to the terrifyingly bizarre conditions that have brought about the drought so that's the word guys if you have never received Jesus Christ as your Lord, you're getting your Savior. Today is the day of your salvation. Don't wait tomorrow because tomorrow is no guarantee for you. You may get a day today or tomorrow without Jesus Christ. According to the Bible, you will go to hell. Not purgatory, but in hell. All you have to do, guys, is to repent. Invite Jesus Christ as your Lord, you're getting your Savior. And then promise Him to follow Him for the rest of your life. You can pray your own simple prayer. You can pray along with this simple prayer. Here you go. Lord Jesus Christ, please forgive me for all my sins. Please come into my heart and into my life and be my Lord, my God, and my Savior. From now on, Jesus, I will follow you for the rest of my life. Amen. So if you pray the simple prayer according to the Bible, your name is written in the book of life. But if you are still rejecting Jesus Christ as your Lord, you're getting your Savior. According to the Bible, in the book of Revelation, chapter 20, verse 15, it says, If anyone's name was not found written in the book of life, was casted in the lake of fire. So guys, take this as a warning and invitation. You have a blessed day. Bye-bye.